What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know, we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, aka take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around these end times sent from the enemy. Had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, awesome. And if you are interested in that one-on-one -on -one Discord conversation, the information is pinned in the comment section and in the description down below. Good, great, awesome. Okay, everybody. So today's video will be me going through comments um, on my YouTube channel. And this is like a part two of the first video I did, which was called Facing Persecution. Um, not all of the comments are like people coming at me crazy or anything like that, but that video basically had a mixture of questions and yeah, people was just doing a lot and the most because that's when I was first starting. They didn't know who I was, right? So just to show y'all kind of what I go through and I always tell people too, you know, whatever you say is going to either come back to you in a good or bad way because God knows it all, whether it be a comment, whether you said it in person. Either way, it's public, so you never know what could happen with what you say to people, because God don't play. And in this video, it's not going to be me like going at people's necks. It's just more clarity and showing y'all a repeat of what I did in December. And I always ask the Lord, okay, make sure I'm in the right place, my heart is in the right place to do it, and whatnot. So yeah, let's get into it. All right. So this first person says, you were warned to stop soliciting money for the gospel and repent and return it. And now you will be served judgment with the wicked. Very, very bold statement coming from somebody that I know did not hear from the Lord or get commanded. See, first of all, because this person has commented before and I had to tell them to stop going under people's comments and telling them that, you know, like that was just. It's one thing for a person to comment something, but for you to go under every comment and say that, you're doing too much. So I had to tell this person, hey, um, I'm not asking for money. Okay, so let's look up the definition of soliciting. To ask someone for money, information, or help, like solicit donations for a charity. So I have not asked anybody for money nor have I asked for anybody's information for anything, nor do I even speak on it in the videos themselves. That information is just there just in case somebody has the heart to want to be a blessing or the Lord leads somebody to bless, which he's done for me to bless other people. So I always tell people, hey, watch who you're telling to repent because that's a statement that the Lord directly gives. Like, you don't say to any random person, oh, you better repent for X, Y, and Z or you're going to face judgment. That's something that the Lord says because it's based on if the person is actually doing something they're not supposed to do at that. You know, everybody's different. So if they're ignorant to what they're doing, the Lord is going to try to tell them not, oh, you're going to face judgment X, Y, and Z. Like everybody has their own levels of understanding. Now, if you somebody that you know what you're doing, you know, God to tell you this is coming if not stopping to do it. But anyway, Acts 20, 35, I have shown you in every way by laboring like this and that you must support the weak. And remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. So people feel blessed to be able to give to somebody. You know, we give in different ways. I give in different ways. My time, you know, obedience to the Lord. So it's a lot like with these calls that don't have any charge with them whatsoever. You know, us as the body of Christ, a lot of us feel blessed to be able to give to help people that the Lord leads us to help financially or, you know, pour into them with a word, anything. So, yeah, that's that. So this next comment says. Negative messages. Every dang day from this channel. So I had to tell this person that everything on this channel is not going to be rainbows and butterflies. Like we live in a pretty messed up world 
we live in a pretty messed up world. So not everything's going to be positive. And I basically told them, hey, if you're somebody like this, in reality, you aren't just going to have messages of encouragement. You might have points of encouragement throughout gloomy messages or warnings, but it's not going to be all rainbows and butterflies. So if that's not what you're looking for, have a great day. Good, great, awesome. All right, this person says, just a dream, dude, not a message from God, but there's no rapture to escape the great tribulation. So this is actually a really sad comment because, you know, God had me do a whole rapture teaching. I'm not really going to go through all of that. But what I will say is that rapture teaching right there and the dreams that God gives you about the rapture, God has given me and probably hundreds of other people dreams about that day when that happens. So dreams aren't just dreams, dude. Do not interpretations belong do not interpretations belong to the Lord God. A dream is not just a dream. Either God is giving you a dream to communicate or the enemy is attacking you in it. All dreams are spiritually led in some way. All right, good, great, awesome. Hold on, let me explain something up real quick. Before everybody starts screaming and saying, oh, like I told y'all earlier, you motherfuckers entered the rapture. And if ain't nobody flying up to heaven right now, obviously all y'all motherfuckers going to hell right with me. So let's get it. Oh, you already here. I'm so sorry. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's over. All right, next up, this person says, God would never mention a politician. He is interested in people serving him, not politics, and mainly in Israel his chosen people, but he loves us all. I think you may be deceived at times. Search scriptures, pray for discernment, test the spirits. Jesus is coming soon. Let's all be ready. Hmm, okay. And I'm gonna read this other one because this person said something similar because this was about affirmative action. The one that the Lord had gave me confirmation that a previous word regarding a racial issue coming back, but it's a delusion, like a distraction. So affirmative action did come back and I did that video to show the two in one video. God told me this, this happened, okay? So this person says, this was not a word from the Lord. This is a man in the flesh promoting his political view on affirmative action. Bro, stop using God's name in vain. So that one kind of confused me because I was like, I didn't even take a stance on the actual case. I, it was just me, like I said, showing what God had told me and yeah, there was no stand. So I don't be knowing how people do this, but they do it. They come up with it and it's a special talent. So actually, let's talk about it because the first person pretty much said that God doesn't talk about politics. That word is something else. It truly is. So Jeremiah 33, 3, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. So, so basically, when you call on to God, he can show you all types of things that you don't know, great and mighty things. It can include and involve anything, kind of like politics, quote unquote, what they say, putting somebody that is one of his children in place, anything. And he can show it to you in any way, Matthew 19, 26. But Jesus looked at them and said to them, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So God can show you anything in any way that he wants to. Nothing is impossible. So it is not impossible that, you know, Moses is able to part the Red Sea. It's not impossible that people receive certain dreams, visions, or warnings. God will do anything or use anything to warn you or tell you something. And that includes political leaders at the top. And then this one's icing on the cake, Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So in high places, quote unquote, politicians are in high places. So it is in scripture and God isn't just concerned with Israel. He's concerned with the world and all of his children scattered around it. OK, so you should probably search scripture a little bit more yourself and lean not on your own understanding. All right, this one, I've had a few people try to do this, and I, I try to tell people that this is very dangerous. I'm going to read it. So this was the video where I, I first seen Ravens, right? And basically, this person said this. 
ravens the holy spirit is represented by a dove not a raven so i told the person you know not to put limitations on god because god can use any animal anything they're all his creations to show us like or symbolize something you know so then the person says did i limit god almighty of course not prove to me that you are guided by the holy spirit and they went on this whole thing you know just Anybody can tell you that they serve God and be deceived. Some people are ignorant and don't know it. You should not be asking a person questions like this, especially over YouTube. I don't understand why people do this. You know man can lie to you, right? Especially if you don't have discernment. So that's why I say in the intro, which people tend to literally somehow selectively skip over, take the words and visuals back to prayer with God. Like, Literally ask God about the person in prayer because there's many Decepticons. So, yeah, I've had people try to do this and it's dangerous. You don't do it. I try to direct them literally into prayer where God does not ask me about myself. That's that does nothing for you because I can just lie to you if I had that type of heart, you know. So I hope people understand not to do that. OK, so let's move on to the next ones. These aren't like too bad. Just to give clarity on some of these comments. The archangels do not give us any messages, only Almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ. It's, it is all written in the book of Revelation. And the good news is that whoever shall come upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. So this that's actually not true because angels can be messengers of the Lord and they do help guide us and help us in times of distress or confusion. Just like humans are messengers of the Lord as well. So in scripture, Matthew 2, 13, 16, we're just going to read 2, 13, the flight into Egypt. Now, when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word. So the angel had to have communicated. Okay. Also, Luke 1, 26 to 28. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel, archangel, was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. All right. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. OK, so they do communicate. So this person, just to give clarity, they said, do not communicate with angels. They could be fallen angels decorated in sheep's clothing. While there is no verse which explicitly states you shall not pray to angels, it is abundantly clear that we are not to pray to angels and so forth. OK, and so I do not worship angels or pray to angels, but in prayer, I thank the angels while speaking to God. I thank them for everything that they do because they have to be obedient as well, just like we are. You know, they really do things for us. So I thank them. And in heaven, we're also going to communicate in you know, speak to them. So there's nothing wrong with if you are aware that you are talking to an angel, like in the spirit, like you have to have some really high discernment and you can feel the energy, like the demons, the devil, fallen angels, all that have really, I'm watching you type energy. But God's angels have a very peaceful, oh my goodness, it's so great. And then when I got tested by Michael in person, God told me I passed that test and he reached out to shake my hand and it was energy up a wall. So I was entertaining a stranger, but an angel at the same time, which is also in scripture. OK, so that's to clear up things that people might think about when they hear me say things about the angels. OK. All right. Now to the next one. So this person basically was talking about the image um, that I would use closest to my dream when it came to Jesus. And I just did a video on that. Um, a lot of people do a little too much with this topic sometimes, you know, and they, yeah, well, you're going to see. So this person says that the most, did the most high not tell you that, that, that is not his image. Even though I had a dream and asked God to show me Jesus. Okay. People do too much sometimes, but yeah, we know where he came from and whatnot. And then this person said in a continuation during our conversation, cause I was, yeah, whatever. I told y'all what I just told y'all. I told this person. 
Well, we will have to agree to disagree. Black and white are concepts invented by the colonizers. Okay. However, the scriptures clearly describe what the true Messiah looks like and talks about revelation, you know, his hair, feet like burnt copper and whatnot. The scripture also tells us what would be done by those who would seek to replace that. Then this person says, you must repent, seek the most high. Time is very short. Speak the truth or go where the scriptures say all liars will go. So I had to tell this person, watch who you tell them to repent. Because if God didn't tell you to give that statement, then whatever you say to somebody is going to come back tenfold at you. And I had to tell them in the Revelation scripture that that was revelation, especially when it came to his hair. That's that's revelation. But on earth, he did not have hair white as wool and stuff like that as a child. Or else he would have stood out and flame like fire eyes like that's we already talked about that in another video but that's like God's image right that's very close to God's image and we're gonna read the scripture of Revelation 1 14 15 his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow and his eyes were as flame as fire and his feet like unto fine brass as if they were burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters so a lot of people, especially that part, when it comes to Jesus' image, they do way too much. Nobody is going to have the exact, um, like I said, accuracy, especially with the artist. So from the dream, that was the closest things as far as his features go, what he looked like. And how I try to give it to people is, like, of course he's not white. He's not black. He's tanned like he's been in the sun. He's tanned. So that's the best way that I can give it. You would have to ask God to show you in order to see exactly what I'm talking about. So the actual like him and especially what I see in the spirit and in the dreams is hard to give because art is art. But you would have to ask God to show you if that makes sense. Also, Daniel 7, 9 vision of the ancient of days. I watched till thrones were put in place in the ancient of days was seated. His garment was white as snow and the hair of his head was like pure wool. His throne was a fiery flame and its wheels a burning fire. So very similar. A lot of fire going on. God don't play <laughs> and garment and his hair like pure wool. So it's judgment day and revelation like with his hair and stuff like that. Basically shows us how similar that image is to God, you know, when we're being judged through Jesus Christ, okay? So yeah, but to say all that stuff, when people start talking about repent this and that, like if God didn't tell you to do that, you can have a conversation with somebody and not say that because you're doing a little too much. Watch who you tell them to repent. All right, so let's move on. This comment here, I can't even believe that I read this the other day. Okay, this is what this person said. Here we have a person speaking in the first person, pretending he is God speaking to you. That's what this person said. This started in the garden when Satan said to our parents, you will be like God. What better way to do it than pretend a message came directly from the living God to the person pretending to be God? OK. So I'm going to skip down. The Lord Jesus Christ told us these false prophets will come in the big numbers, deceiving unbelievers. And just goes on to talk about false prophets and whatnot. So. I know that this person didn't test the spirits a lick a bit of anything, because that's why I tell people to test the spirits with God. See. I'm not trying to pretend that I'm God. I'm African-American. I'm not tall. I do not have hair that like pure wool. So I don't look like God, the ancient of days. OK, and I wouldn't pass for God. And I would hope people will have the common sense to know that I definitely am not God. None of us are God. But God can speak through a person in whoever is a willing vessel. So if you don't test the spirits, like I'm making sure I take the time to give to people in the intro, then 
yeah, you probably won't do it. And when it comes to the Lord, you want to make sure that you give literal quotes, you know, quoting. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to pretend to be God, even though I talk to God in my messages all the time. And you know the best part? On this channel, God lets me record some very supernatural things while I'm in his presence. Beautiful things that are not agents of darkness. So if I were all of you that do stuff like this, I would probably be careful because God has put his stamp on purpose on this channel to let you know he's speaking through me. But hey, that ain't on me. And I don't get mad if y'all do it. <laughs> I see this. Do y'all see those angel wings? That rainbow. Ain't no sun out. You see it going all the way across? Do y'all see that little line? Like, that little line right there? This is the type of stuff that I be catching in my room. And I don't care. People don't aren't gonna wanna deal with me no more. And I don't care, but because you can't just don't try to run away from something that's gonna try help you and save your life potentially okay and i just got a new subscribe god man he's something else bro But, you know, you want to sit in prayer with the Lord because you don't want to get in trouble. This person continues to say, no, young man, you're pretending to be God by claiming these are the words. He, no respect for God, because I said he gave it to me after saying God like a hundred times in the video. And I'm going to skip that because that's what he says. It now comes directly to false prophets. Social media is the outlet for spreading false gospel to all parts of the world. Yada, yada, yada. And then this person says, I will thank you. Not to message me again because this is sin is now in the world doing its damage. Only you can fix it. So you will thank me not to message you. Not only is this public, but on this channel that you commented on. Do y'all see what I go through? And I'm not even trying to be mean about this. Like, do so I'm trying to pretend to be God. And then this person. So in the English language, you know, not even trying to be funny. So if I said. I was talking to Sammy and he said, so he's going as far as because I said he like just doing too much. And that's kind of on along the lines of a religious spirit, like because I've already referred to God and then say this is what he had to say. Or I say this is what the Lord had to say. It's not that deep because everybody knows who I'm referring to. It's called quoting. See here, let me give you an example. So if somebody watches the channel and says, oh, have you seen Sammy's intro? So, oh, wow, like I was watching Sammy's video and this is what he said in his intro. What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know, we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real and uncut answer. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, May you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around these in times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, awesome. See, like that would be a quote, but they would say that word for word in quotes. You see how that works? Good, great, awesome. Have a great one. And I will thank you not to respond. All right, so the rest of these are just about the wealth transfer. So I'm just going to read the comments and then, yeah.
whether it be about God's promise to us or not, you know, under those videos, these are what some people had to say. This person says, God didn't tell you anything. Stop lying. Well, I would test the spirits, you know, and make sure that God's not telling me. OK, especially with the name that they have. Black people are gods. Anywho, let's continue. All right. The next person says, this isn't God talking, bro. This is you talking. Again, probably didn't test the spirits, but they continue to say, respectfully, sir, I already have tested the spirits, basically what he's saying. Um, I'm his sheep and I know his voice quite well. I know his word quite well. So I'm going to hold you to this one. Additionally, I've been in this space also for some time now. OK, here we go. You've been in somewhere for so long. So now that's where it is coming from. Many people put words, narratives and talking points from other YouTubers in God's mouth. And these are material, earthbound, fleshly matters. These have zero to do with the gospel. God has already said what he needs to say in his word. If I were you, I would check my source to see if I'm hearing from the true living God or I'm clinging to false religious spirit, pumping strong delusion and inching things I want to hear in hopes to get rich quick. OK, that's another one. Um, this person says, why are you talking about money? Do you not know that the father provides us just as he provides for the birds in the air? Trust no man. All right. This person again an earlier on. This person says, again, Sammy, no disrespect, sir, but I truly don't think you're hearing from God. I get it. All this wealth transfer stuff sounds awesome, but I think it's a strong delusion. So he says, I think. Not one time that he said he went to the Lord and asked. He said, I think it's a strong delusion over greedy and lazy people. Laziness brings poverty. OK, diligence brings wealth. Not waiting on some miracle to happen. But I could be wrong. So you said you could be wrong. But then, yeah, but I know how this works. If nothing happens, the excuses come, but we'll see. So you're where he's standing, it, just not going to prayer, asking the Lord. Right. Um, so then this person says, wealth transfer, where is this taught in scripture? And then brings up, you know, money and whatnot, not serving two masters. So. Then this next person says, that wasn't God. You're being deceived by a fallen angel. Okay. So basically all this stuff here. So let's go to scripture. Because since everybody is a scholar in the word of God that comes to this channel, you know, or other channels and do this. Since you've been doing this for a while or you can use scripture. For some people that go to scripture, you sure skip over the things that actually talk about wealth and the signs of the world right now that signal how they're going to control our funds and God is going to supply us with everything we need which will be the wealth to basically take over the kingdom of darkness and move everything out the way to build God's kingdom and of course get the devil out the way because we need the finances they're with the food and the water of what they're doing to everything we got to make our own stuff resources we got to have the funds for land to farm and have fresh everything so there's a bigger picture than just get rich quick. And God is testing people's hearts, scholars of the word of God. Deuteronomy 8, 18. And you shall remember the Lord, your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth. That he may establish his covenant, which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. Proverbs 13, 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. OK. And that whole scripture about uh, the rich man and stuff like that, you could be rich with jewelry, money, clothes, cars, anything. It's not the car. It's not the dollar. It's not the coin that gets you sent to hell. It's the action, the love of money. It's the fact that you will do anything to serve money, not the money itself. Somebody could be born into wealth. And love the Lord and do everything he tells them to do with the funds. Or somebody, like with this situation, wealth transfer, God is going to give to those responsible to help many others because there are too many people that are going to struggle and are struggling. And he's going to turn the tides because it is his inheritance. 
So let's not put God in a box because we don't have an understanding of what's going on and actually read pieces of scripture and understand what they're saying. The love of money is an action because I am loving it, right? Compared to just having money and serving the Lord. You don't go to hell for having an object. You go to hell because of how you feel towards it over God. That's what that means. That's why the rich man don't have a good chance to make it in heaven because he loves things over God. That's why there's other scriptures that say God gives you the power to obtain wealth. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. So if we're going to be scholars. Let's make sure we go over everything. All right. Okay. Good, great, awesome. So this last one says, this is basically when I was talking about um, permission, permission, permission with this transfer. This person got kind of upset and said, this message is not from God. It is not like God didn't expect any of what is happening. It's not a mess, prophetic mess, essentially. It's exactly where God wants this to be. This person is speaking his own mind, confusing it with God's voice. Having said that, I believe this person's heart may be in the right place. So just because God has a plan doesn't mean that he won't change his mind according to our actions. So you can delay your own blessing. Okay. And basically what I was saying in the message was that people were sharing certain things or, you know, going to all these different voices and just getting confused, which will cause a prophetic mess with this wealth transfer and get people all over the place when they need to just be seeking God. So this person got really upset by that. So God doesn't want you going to a hundred different people over him. That's where things get messy. That's what the message was about, you know. So I get people sometimes that get in their feelings and upset based off what the message is about because they do it. They do it and conviction don't feel good. But yeah, um, that was it for this video. And yeah, it is what it is. But I'm the type of person that I do interact with people. I do give clarity. I do give correction from the Lord or through the Lord or you know, I make sure my heart's in the right place to respond to these things. But this is stuff that you're going to go through. This is stuff you are going to go through. OK. So in public, you like street preachers, you wouldn't leave your post preaching the gospel because somebody came up and called you false or said this and said that with their own understanding. This is what they go through. This is just a YouTube version. And you know what they do? They're having a conversation, being insulted by these people being told they're going to face judgment, being cussed out. I've dealt with it too. It's just YouTube version of it. So this is just me doing the same thing, but out in a video to show y'all, you know, and it's practice for me too, for what I'm going to be dealing with when things get a lot worse. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. God know I'm not scared to do it. I'm not scared to say it. So anyway, peace and blessings, and I will catch you all in the next one.